These testimonials are representative of my or our experiences, but the exact results and experience will be unique and individual to each person. The information provided herein is not medical advice and is not intended to substitute for the advice of your personal physician or other healthcare providers. Welcome to The Beautiful Bag. This is your host, Leanne Hayden, cancer survivor, and more importantly, ostomy lifer. Each and every week, I'm going to be bringing a special guest or some inspiration for you and a few little stories along the way so that you can learn what life is like for us to be living in an ostomy and why we all think it's a beautiful bag. So listen in and let's get started. Well, hello and welcome to this week's The Beautiful Bag episode. I am your host, Leanne Heaton, coming to you live from the beautiful state of New Hampshire. <laughs> I remember back in the day when I used to have, um, when I first started doing podcasts and I was living in New York City, it would be like, live from New York. Uh, now it's live from New Hampshire. <laughs> So I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day today. Uh, this week's episode, I want to talk to you guys about gut health. Listen, we're in ostomies, right? The majority of us that listen to this podcast are in ostomies. And if not, then we have a friend or someone who we know is in one, or we want to understand what life is like in ostomies for most people. So I just finished, and I'm very excited about it. I just finished Um, a gut health certification. So I'm now a certified gut health specialist. (laughs) And let me tell you, that test was hard. It was so hard. But I have personally been interested in health and nutrition for, gosh, decades, decades, I would say, as long as I can remember, (laughs) I have been into health and nutrition. And truly, over the last few years, we've learned the power of gut health, right? Like this, they call it the second brain. And it's, it's really coming to be known uh, in the last, gosh, even in the last five to 10 years, it's, they're really starting, you know, scientists are really starting to study it, to understand, to understand what's going on in our gut. And I'm going through this course that I just took, the certification that I just took, uh, there was a lot about, you know, gut inflammation, inflammation. Uh, it, they t- we talked about, we learned about, you know, IBD, Crohn's colitis, celiac disease, all the different, all the different things um, on top of just in general gut health and how the gut works. So, you know, your gut is not just your intestines. It's not just our intestines. Our gut starts in our mouth and it goes to our anus or for us out our stomas and everything in between all of that. And we have organs that help our gut process food, right? Like our liver, our gallbladder, our pancreas, all of that helps. And it helps by releasing enzymes and and, uh, breaking down food and, um, you know, our gut microbiome. And if you haven't heard of what gut microbiome is, gut microbiome are these little, there's trillions and trillions and trillions there's trillions of them in our intestines. They mainly hang out in our large intestine. And for us, we have some of that missing, or some of us have the entire thing missing, right? So we just have our small intestines. So with the small, there are, there's a lot of gut microbiome in our small intestines as well. So what does the gut microbiome do? The gut microbiome actually takes our food, like our intestines break it down, it takes our food, and sends it into the cell. And it talks, our gut talks to our brain. It actually communicates with our brain. So it says when something is off. It tells it when, um, you know, when there's inflammation going on in the body, when to protect itself, you know, on top of, you know, when we're hungry and, and all that, on, and, and all of that. It actually talks to each other. It's like our second brain. So can you imagine if you could take the gut microbiome that you have feed it the appropriate nutrition, right? Give it the right things, how that can help your body reduce inflammation and make your brain happy, right? You got in your brain can be happy and it can absolutely help. So there's different ways that we can do this. There's different ways that we can feed our gut microbiome. 
Um, and I know I've talked in the past about getting your fruits and vegetables in and how can we as Ostomate, you know, eat the right things. You got to test your own body because everyone's body is different. I have to stay away from the big kale, right? the hard kale, because it gets stuck in my intestines and creates some blockages. For some people, they could get away with it. I can do baby kale, right? Because it's, it's already, you know, it's easier to break down. It's easier for me to chew, but the big hard kale, uh -uh, not happening. You know, I can eat bananas. Some people can't eat bananas. So you have to test your body on what works. But the biggest thing for our bodies is a diet full of fruits and vegetables. And I know out there in the world, it's always like, what do I eat? What should I eat? What should I stay away from? And people like, you know, do I eat fruit? Do I not eat fruit? Fruit is good for you. There's so many vitamins and nutrients in fruit that absolutely help our bodies, that help our bodies, that help our brains, that feed our gut microbiome. There are um, so veggies and fruits, right? Some people can handle grains. Some people cannot. Some people can handle beans. Some people cannot. The things with having like um, grains and beans, again, you need to try, you need to test it out. But with beans, there's a couple little secrets when preparing beans. It's how things are prepared as well that can help your body break them down better. Um, and then healthy lean meats. Yes, mostly you know, fish can be real. Fish is a great protein. Um, as long as you're doing the smaller fish, like the sardines, uh, the salmon, because you don't want to have a lot of mercury, you know, bigger fish like tuna and all of that have a lot of mercury in them. And you want to kind of beware of all of that. But healing your gut. So the things that you can do to heal your gut, your vegetables and your fruits, right? Whole grains and beans, if you can handle them, if you can manage them, right? Lean meats, and it doesn't have to be a lot but there's also things that um, your gut can, you, you'll want to feed your gut like prebiotics and probiotics, right? Prebiotics actually feed probiotics. Probiotics feed your gut microbiome, right? Now you can get them from foods. You can, you know, prebiotics can be things like kombucha. Uh, uh, I'm losing my train of thought for a second, like pickled egg, uh, pickled um onions and stuff like that, like that's all, you know, your sauerkraut, your things like that um, are prebiotics that can feed your gut microbiome. You can also find supplements. And I have found a company that has great supplements. And I will talk about them because there's some things that um, I, I just want to mention, uh, because I've done so much research on finding the right things for our bodies. So prebiotics, probiotics, uh, they all help as well. But some of the things that I want you guys to understand is the a, a huge thing that our body needs is minerals, right? Vitamins and minerals and having minerals in our bodies and the power of eating organic versus conventional. And I know organic can get expensive, right? It's how I eat it's unless I'm eating in a restaurant. It's how I eat at home. It's everything is organic. And the reason you want an organic diet, let me use a conventional apple for an example, okay? You go to the grocery store, you get your conventional apple. That apple looks delicious. You can bring it home and that apple will live in your fridge. Seven months later, that apple will still be sitting in your fridge. Why is that? Why is that apple still in your fridge? How can that apple be fresh? and nutritious and give your body still the same things, the same vitamins, same minerals, if it's still in your fridge seven months later and looking the same. Whereas if you had an organic apple, that baby, that baby you would have been thrown out, right? Because it would have been bruised, it would have gotten soft, and you would have had, you would have had, you would have had to throw it away. What's the difference between the two? Yes, there's pesticides and you know herbicides and all of that that's sprayed onto non-organic fruits and vegetables. But what's the difference? The difference is the enzymes. And I just learned this and I was so shocked. Conventional apples can last that long because the companies, right, the farms that these conventional apples are grown in, take the enzymes, guys, the enzymes out of the apples. 
when I told my husband the story, he said to me, he goes, what are you talking about? They take the enzymes out of the apple. What do they do? Has somebody sitting there, you know, sucking the enzymes out of each apple? And I'm like, no, let's research it and find out how they do it. They take it out of the tree. They destroy the enzymes that are in the tree that grow into the apples to make the apples last longer. But here's something. Our bodies, our bodies need those enzymes to break down our food, to literally get the nutrients, the vitamins and the minerals into our gut microbiome, into our bodies, into our cells. We need those digestible enzymes. We need those enzymes from the food. How's that? <laughs> so we're not, um, because our soil isn't the same, because sometimes they take these enzymes out of our foods, we end up with stomach issues. We end up with digestive issues. We end up with gallbladder issues, which is why we need to feed our bodies minerals. Our soil's not the same. Our, the nutrients, we're not getting the nutrients from our soil any longer, right? Because of all of it spraying with pesticides and herbicides, our soil's not the same. So whenever you guys can, please, 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 when it comes to your fruits and vegetables and your meats and your food, get as organic as you humanly can, okay? It's so, so super important, right? So this one product that I wanted to talk to you guys about, um, this new company that I just partnered with, I just partnered with a new company um, in order to bring you, myself, my family, my friends, everyone else, the right products, the right things, um, the right things to feed your body. One of the products that it, this company has is called Vitality. And it's more than just, it's more than just your vitamins and your minerals, okay? In this little packet, it has 72 trace minerals. It has your enzymes in it to help you break down your food. So if you're not getting all organic food, it has the ability to give you your enzymes to help break down the food so your body can process it correctly and bring the nutrients into your body. It helps. So with these enzymes, you're going to find you have more energy, right? You get, it's so important. Enzymes are so important for thyroid health, for adrenals, and improvement in your digestive health. This product, <laughs> it's actually four pills in one soft gel. So it has your minerals. It has your vitamins. It has your enzymes. It has your prebiotics and your probiotics, and it has greens and fruits in here. And the thing that I love, it's food. It's based off food. There's nothing synthetic in it at all. It's absolute food and they create it in a way where your body can absorb it they break it down so small that your body absorbs it that it gets into your cells which will then have you feel healthier have you feel more energy have your digestive tract smooth smoother um i have been using them so i wanted to use them for a few weeks to see what I thought first. And let me tell you, I have had more energy over the last four weeks. I have had um, my digestive tract. Now I have a hard time staying hydrated. I have a hard time staying hydrated. And I know some of you do as well. I have a hard time staying hydrated. My stools usually come out rock hard, right? Solid rock hard. And, you know, my rock hard little pebbles. Well, since I've been using this product, my stools are smoother and they're a little softer. So it's helping my personal digestive tract in my colostomy bag. That's how it's helping me. Okay. Um, and my skin's actually getting glowy. <laughs> For you ladies, my skin's starting to glow. Uh, there's also a fish oil soft, uh, soft gel in this packet as well. And the fish oil, the thing that I love about this is fish oil is so great, so great, so super great for gut health and brain health, your physical, your brain, your brain needs healthy fats. And this fish oil is one that I have found. They third party test, just so you know, they third party test everything. 
And with the testing that they do with this fish oil, they actually even, they don't just test it for mercury and all that. They even test it for radioactive activity, which we know is out there in our fish and out there in our oceans, right? They even test for that before they put it in here. So this is top notch, top quality um, product. Now, I'm not saying, and let me put this out there. I'm not saying that's going to cure, treat, prevent any diseases or anything like that. But I am saying with the right minerals, the right probiotics, the right prebiotics, the right enzymes, having the enzymes in your food, it will, having the right things in your body will improve your body. Okay. So that's what, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to put the link to this specific product in the show notes. So you guys can all take a look and check it out. If you have any questions for me on the product or on anything, you guys always know you can email me, you can reach out to me on leannehaden.com, email me at leanne at leannehaden.com, find me on social media. You guys know where I am. <laughs> I am pretty much out there all over, but regardless of supplements, regardless of products, do your, your bodies the favor of really taking a step back and making sure that you're getting the right nutrients in your body, that you're buying organic as much as you can, as humanly possible, and especially, especially, especially for most of your fruits and your vegetables. There's certain fruits that you can get non-organic because they're thick skin, like your bananas. Okay, think about that. Like your bananas or your oranges, because the skin is so thick, the pesticides don't get in, wash the outsides really good, peel it, you should be good. But when you're looking at things like strawberries, guys, I'm going to talk to you at some point about the benefits of strawberries, strawberries, uh, blackberries, you know, your blueberries, your berries, make sure those are organic. Um, your apples, right? Because we eat the skin on the apples, make sure they're organic, guys, especially with the story I just told you. You want the enzymes, you want the good, healthy things in your body. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about this week is the power of your gut. I'm going to be bringing you guys a, a lot more of this information as we go on um, throughout on top of bringing back some guests, some guests as well and having them tell their stories, which I love having guests. So if you ever know of anybody who would love to share their story on the podcast, of how they ended up in an ostomy, what their life is like, let me know. And I want you guys all to have an amazing, wonderful day. <laughs> and remember, your bag is beautiful. Your bag is what has created you to be who you are today. That loving, caring person who has gotten a second chance in life and you're here for a reason. So take care of the body that you're here for. And if you need community, you need to be around people, uh, reach out to me, okay? And that's all I had for you this week. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Uh, love you guys all so, so much. And we'll talk again soon. Thank you so much for joining us this week. If you enjoyed this podcast, get the behind the scenes at leannehaden.com slash ostomy updates. And also, if you found this episode encouraging, please screenshot it and share it on Instagram. And don't forget to tag me and also the person who was on the episode with me. I occasionally will do special gifts for anyone who does do a screenshot and share it on Instagram or in your stories. Also, lastly, please go to Apple or Google, rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast to keep up with them every single week. I enjoy you guys. Thank you so much for being here.